We've spent hundreds of millions of dollars and decades of hard work by thousands on salmon recovery in Washington. Why are we not seeing Chinook salmon recovery? Why are so many runs of this species struggling, while other Pacific salmon are thriving? Salmon harvests are at record highs, so what's the problem with Chinook? Salmon advocates focus on river and stream habitat. They are certainly right that clean, cool water with proper structure is essential. But despite all the effort and expense and great progress in improving habitat, why do Chinook continue to struggle, not just here in Washington, but throughout the North Pacific? Is it possible we have misdiagnosed the problem? Science studies suggest yes. There are real understandable causes for disappointing Chinook recovery despite all the hard work that go beyond habitat. The most significant limiting factors are ocean warming and predation. Production of smolts, young Chinook salmon, has increased by nearly double in the past 40 years. But harvest and return levels remain low. The simple fact is this species, unlike others, struggles to survive in a warming ocean. Its unique life cycle makes it susceptible to warm water while other species thrive in those conditions. While short-term improvement in ocean temperature may not be possible, the other major problem, predation, is different. Killer whales, harbor seals, and sea lions all target Chinook. The number of orcas has doubled in the past 40 years, but harbor seals in one small area have jumped from about 8,000 in 1975 to about 80,000 today 10 times. That small area is the Salish Sea, the northern Puget Sound reaching from Seattle area to Vancouver. Those out-of-control predators eat over 24 million Chinook each year. Of all the Chinook consumed by harbor seals from California to Alaska, nearly 90% are consumed in this one small area alone. Improved habitat and more hatcheries could produce more Chinook, as indeed they have. But all that means is more will die in the ocean, some to warm temperatures, but millions upon millions to harbor seals. Some salmon advocates say remove the Snake River dams, but rivers without dams are doing even less well than the snake. It will cost upwards of $50 billion and will put as many as 7,000 family farms out of business. It will disrupt the lives of tens of thousands of our region's poorest citizens. That's not social justice. Others say impose massive buffers on farmland, but that will put 30% of the remaining farmland in Puget Sound out of production, opening the door to much faster urbanization, the environmental problem that is the worst for salmon. These costly solutions and others such as taking away irrigation water from farmers will not bring Chinook back. We can destroy farming in this state for the sake of salmon only to find that we have failed to bring back these fish. We can do better. We must do better.